Hello, everybody on YouTube. What's going on? Ooh, I sound kind of weird. Anyways, uh, sorry for that quite quite an odd introduction. Right here, I'm playing with my theater mode, trying to get the start of the game. There it is. All right, then. Anyways, today is Monday, December the 6th, 2010, and we've got a game of Domination on, let's see, Jungle. I like this map. Uh, to me, this map, it kind of reminds me of Bog. One main reason, actually. The main reason is there's very little buildings, all right? As you knew on Bog, there was, like, some cover. And on this map, there's, like, uh, back there where, I guess you'd call it, uh... Oh, and by the way, right here, I didn't jump on the flag because actually defending my teammates by standing behind this rock, making sure no one came down the hill. And, uh, probably could have picked off that guy and saved my teammate, but... Oh, well. Oops. Anyways, but back where there are the sandbags and the, I, I guess you could say temple ruins, or I, I don't know how to call it, but there are some places where you can hide, you know, from shoppers and stuff. But, and I was on Bog from Call of Duty 4, you could hide in some crates that didn't have the ends on them. So you could hide in them and be safe from choppers and airstrikes sometimes. <coughs> but uh, that that's just my view on jungle. I guess that's just your random five cents of the day. Anyways, um, I start off with the 74U. Uh, mainly, that's my ru that's my r main rushing gun. Whenever I do rushing, you'll either see me use the MP5K. You might see me use the uh, MPL and the 74U. That's my main that's my main rushing class. I believe right now I have the uh, the MPL, but I don't know. I, I kind of like switch off because I I don't really find that there's one dominant um, like. You, I mean, you always see the 74U. That's obviously the dominant submachine gun. But uh, if you think about it, there's not really that big of a difference. It's pretty much just how you work with it in your hands. Because I'm not going to lie. I, I'm pretty beast mode at the 74U. I mean, I can pull off some good quad sprays and um, pwn the noobs. But anyway, I can do the same thing with the MPL. It, it's pretty much your personal preference. And I'm, I do know that the numbers show, I don't know what website it is, but I, I do have it bookmarked, I'm not, I'm not going to check. But the numbers show that the 74U does have very low recoil uh, compared to that of the MP5K, even the MPL. Uh, but once again, if, with that low recoil, you don't have the recoil to help you. And I believe that if you're using a gun with more recoil, it feels as if the hitbox for people is larger, so it's a lot easier to hit them. That might just be me, but you know what? I mean, maybe it is, so whatever. All right, then. <laughs> I'm kind of jumping around topics here, but uh, I didn't have one main topic. I'm thinking about talking about the gameplay. And I, in this game, I can't really remember what my captures and the defense are, but I pretty much play my role in defending B and watching this bridge over here. Uh, I cannot kill this guy. Uh, right here, actually, this is one of my favorite spots for getting tet triple sprays. Uh, believe it or not, you can get quite a few kills from that spot. You shoot into the uh, bushes. You might see me do it another time this game, but a lot of people like to hide over there. And right there, right there, right there, you can get a lot of people standing up, but this guy's prone, and I think I get him right here, but nope. Anyways, oh my gosh. Uh, defending this bridge in between C and where I'm at now, uh, that's my main objective. But as you can see, the capture day, so I decided to push up a little bit and actually end up going where they can spawn, pick up the guy long range. And, uh, by the way, there is a host migration here, so climb up here and teleport over here. And, uh, oh, and I will take this little control thing off. Um, I, I apologize for reporting in theater mode. I just find it easier. I believe I've explained this before, but for those that have not understood that it's kind of difficult to record every single gameplay and then do commentary over it because then I'm, I mean, I'm, that's gigabytes, you know, 40 gigabytes in one, in the, let's just say 40 games. 40 games is a good, anywhere from like 25 to 35 gigabytes. So that's, you know, 5 to 10% of my hard drive within a good sized gaming session over the weekend. And that's kind of difficult and it's best just to use the theater mode, so. And as you can see, I am not afraid to hop on the B flag. And actually, I kind of like stealing this from Hutch's video, Flag Jacket Pro. Flag Jacket Pro! Voice crack. Anyways, uh, stealing this from Hutch's video, 
I can't raise this baby on babe. Man, my voice is just cracking today. <clears throat> Anyways, stealing this from Hutch's video. Uh, I can't raise this baby on my own. That's why I normally say if uh, I'm the only one on a flag. And uh, I pick up the 74U, and the second I get the 74U, guess what? I'm, I'm rushing the spawn. Look at this. Look at this. All the way up here, and then I get picked off. And the second I have the AK, I go back to doing my job, defending this bridge, making sure they don't go back and capture A. And that's definitely what you want to do as long as you have organized teams, but more often than not, on the PlayStation, you do not have organized teams. And I'm not saying that on the Xbox they do have organized teams. Because, because, I'm not saying because, because I'm from Tennessee. Because I've actually played on the Xbox 360 this weekend. And believe it or not, I did perfectly fine. A lot of people, you know, say, oh, Xbox is better. Oh, PS3 is better. Oh, the graphics are much better on this system, this system. Right here, your controller sucks. I'm not going to lie. I like the Xbox controller better, all right? White Boy 7th Street, he likes the PS3 controller better. He owns both systems. It's personal preference. I honestly, I'm six foot tall, I have large appendages, if you know what I mean, and I need a large controller, and that's what the Xbox 360 controller does for me. Not to mention, uh, since it is larger, I, I believe the sticks are a little bit less sensitive, you know, they require more push to move them. So, who's coming down when these two? Okay, sorry for that, my mom came down asking me about uh, some long john she bought to me. Bought me. Anyways, uh, once again, spraying with this thing. But one thing that uh, I would like to tell you about is before, because this game I've been rambling on so much with this game, with this commentary. I'm recording for a montage. Me, it's a community montage. And I guess you can say, oh, wow, well, you can copy and everybody, small beans and that junk and beans and cornbread. Anyways, I'm recording. If you have a good clip, I'm asking for quad sprays. Asking for really fast streaks, complete genocide, triples, um, amazing, you know, sniper shots. Not looking for no scopes. I've got a few no scopes. I just got a really cool, like, you know, when you jump up, your crosshairs widen, and then you shoot somebody. Uh, I got one of those no scopes just right now. I recorded it, and I'm going to put that. And uh, if you want to know what song I'm doing it to, uh, my friends know, but I guess I shouldn't. I was, wasn't thinking I was about to tell you, but I guess it's going to be a surprise. It's going to be one of my best edited montage montages because because I have the S video cable now, and the S video quality is superior to the old quality that I had. I'm all recording in all 16 to 9, so just you know, be in a game with me. I'll record your stuff, and I'll re really appreciate it. Now, um. One real quick thing. Somebody asked me what my KDR was, and let me check that right now. Let me check that right now. Let me back out of this theater lobby. For some reason, my TV kind of weird. Uh, player card, combat record. All right, right now my win-loss ratio is only a 1.44. Yeah. Sorry, it's kind of my um, my screen. It's a 26-inch TV, and on S video. And since 26 inches, and I don't know, but the, the text on this game is just like really small and compact. So if you're playing on standard definition, you can't even see stuff. It's kind of like Battlefield 1943. 1.44 win-loss ratio, and a 2.2 uh, as my kill-death ratio. Getting really consistent ones now. I'm looking at my recent, and they're getting like recent 1.7, uh, 8.67 kill-death ratio, or 1.75, 1.5. They're staying pretty low to the ones. Uh, this is just because I'm I'm recording for montage now, and I really, really just, I just don't, I mean, I want to get gameplays, and when I get gameplays, that helps my KDR, but I really want to record for edits and montages and stuff, so, I mean, that's just me, but, um, you just want to know my stats, I mean, that does it, that's, that's it. Uh, so basically what you can take from that is like, oh wow, you don't even have a KDR above 3, alright? So, what you're saying is, in Team Deathmatch, if I play Team Deathmatch, say I get a 2.0 KDR, alright? That means I only give one kill, and I get two kills. If everyone on the, in my team got a 2 to 1 ratio, well, you'd instantly win. If everyone on your team gets a 1.001, or 1.01, uh, win KDR, then you will win. It's a guarantee. Um, so, and also, uh, 
I do have a quite. I, they're not on right now. I haven't played much demolition this week. I've been playing a lot, but. Anyways, game's over. Final score is only 26 and 3, but the thing is, I wasn't using, like, big kill streaks. I didn't talk about the gameplay as much as I wanted to. I got into the commentary. Bye.